we are currently on our way to head off to Guatemala today, which is very, very exciting because she's never been out of the country. And to be honest with you guys, we don't actually know each other that well. <laughs> kind of dark. No! Oh, falling off. No! Yeah, so we don't know each other that well, but we're going away for five days to a country, and so I thought it would be really fun if we do a little um, kind of Q&A so that we can get to know each other a little bit better, and you guys can get to know us, too. No! <laughs> I know, it's not like we don't have this rigged up very well because <laughs> all my gear is in the back and I wasn't very smart at four o'clock this morning. <laughs> Hashtag winging it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, just sorry guys, the quality. It's just, yeah, we're trying. But like, when? When did we meet? Quite a while. Well, it was a while several ago. Several years ago, just kind of in passing, just because we're both part of the film industry. Yeah. Um, but we never really talked or really got to know each other until we worked on a short film, The Road to Nowhere. True, yeah, and that was just a few days. Yeah. That was like not even a big project or anything. My first question to you okay. is if you could pick one food to be like calorie calorieless, totally not bad for you ever, what would it be? Pizza. <laughs> I, I could like destroy all the mushroom pizzas of the world. Mushroom. Mushroom. Yes. <laughs> Extra sauce, not a whole lot of cheese, but like all kinds of mushroom. I would destroy that every single day if it had no calories. That sounds like, dude, pizza <laughs> has been lots of cheese. Cause I was gonna say, for me, that answer is cheese. Banana. <laughs> yeah. Love That's cheese. true. I could have I could have went a little bit more generalized and just said cheese in general. Because <laughs> cheese goes on tacos, cheese goes, goes on, on your pasta. Everything. Yeah. yeah. I think this mm. is falling down so early and I'm so not awake. You guys know this. <laughs> I hate being up early. But I do it for travel. Um question number two. And the reason we're doing this in the car, sorry, I'm so distracted. So the reason that we're doing this in the car right now is because we are driving to Fort Lauderdale. So we've got like three hours in the car. So I figured we can make some good use of our time and we're not sitting together on the plane, so yeah. Number two, um, what animal would you be and why, if you could? Ooh. Animal would I be? I would be a bird of some sort, like probably an eagle because they're quite majestic, but I would like to just like fly everywhere and go wherever I wanted to go and observe everything from above. I like it. That's, um, I'd say that's probably pretty close to mine, actually, because I would say bird, too. I like that. Or a dolphin. I like the ocean. I love the ocean. Dolphins. Yeah. It's like, it keeps coming down. I know. There it's we go. not the best framing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the next question is, questions, question number three. What is your favorite childhood memory? Totally. 
tortellini and like this cream sauce. And you dip like the salami pizza in there because in Germany we mm -hmm. like salami pizza, which is the best thing ever. If you've never had salami pizza, I have it. It's amazing. <laughs> um, so my mouth is watering right now. <laughs> I'm hungry. So that was that's probably my favorite because it was like something that me and my dad did, and then we all like had pizza together. people and I told you before uh, we kind of start this I have not formally been trained how to swim so I don't actually know how to swim I went we're going to a lake yay <laughs> <laughs> about you what's something you haven't told people one thing um, that I don't really usually tell people I mean like I, I guess I do but something that people don't really know about me um, is I'm actually a nervous flyer uh oh. For <laughs> how much I travel, people are like, are you serious? And yes, yes I am. So I have a fifth question because this is a game of um, five questions, which is a really, really exciting name that I came up with. Yes. Um, however, for question number five, I'm going to leave that until the end of the trip. Suspense. So, yes. No. <laughs> um, so, question number five. This is a very, very important question I'm gonna have to ask, which is, out of the entire trip, um, like from start to finish, I mean, I know five o'clock tomorrow morning is when it like proper ends, but out of the entire trip, what is your favorite moment? That one's really hard, because was, this was a really, really fun trip. Um, my favorite moment would be finishing damn volcano hike, <laughs> like ho I hobbled to the end, like just finishing it, knowing that I completed it, even if I was broken, I <laughs> still completed it. That was probably my favorite part. Yay. What about you? Ooh, um, yeah, probably that hike, because I don't even remember like the footage, I, like I told you mm -hmm. earlier, there's footage I recorded on that hike, and I was like, I don't even remember doing that. <laughs> I was that exhausted. Um, it was totally worth it and then just like that we are back in the car on our way back home after five amazing days in Guatemala we look pretty worn out because that, that's what five days in Guatemala did to us this this is how you return <laughs> looking like I know I haven't posted anything in a while and I'm really sorry about that guys um, I've got a lot going on right now which I will share with you soon but in the meantime enjoy the upcoming videos of Guatemala and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do to join us on that adventure and until next time be good to one another be good to our planet and keep adventuring